In this video we continue our discussion of menus in Scala FX. So last time we set up the basics, we have a menu bar and we added a single menu to that menu bar and we put three different menu items inside of there, uh, got everything put together and have that as the content of our scene so that we were able to see the menu and select things from it. Often when you have menus, there are keyboard shortcuts for things. And if I wanted to add those in our application here with Scala FX, the way that I do that is I call the accelerator and set it equal to a new key code combination. Key code combination which is something that I haven't imported yet, so let's go ahead and let's do that. Import scalafx.scene. This stuff is inside of the input package because it's related to user input. And turns out we're gonna need several things from here. <clears throat> the key code combination, which as you can kind of tell from the name, <clears throat> represents a combination of keys because a lot of times with things like open, that should be Control O is what it is in, in many applications. And that's what I'm going to set it up to be. So in order to build that combination, I need to pass it two key codes. So the first key code is for the O key. And then, oops, that should be a capital K. And then a second key code for control down, say the control key is being held down. We are using inside of here the key code type and I can add this same type of line to save and exit as well. Except for save I will want this to be a control S and for exit, I will make it so it is a control X. So that we can see if this works, let's go ahead and let's add one action onto the exit menu. We'll add others to the other items later. So exit item dot on action. So these menu items work just like buttons. They have an on action that we set. We need this to be a function that takes an action event. And what do I want to do here? Well, this one's really easy. We're just going to exit the entire program and say that it's okay. So sys.exit, and by passing it zero, we're saying that it was a good exit to the program. Let's see how many typos I have. I have some. The control down is actually not part of key code. It is part of key combination. Sorry about that. I knew as soon as I copied and pasted this that... I was asking for trouble. Don't copy and paste things unless you know that they are right because otherwise you get to fix them multiple times. And that means that I also need to import the key combination. Okay, let's see if that's happy. Pref width definitely needs an equal there. And I have some other issues as well. So let's read these error messages. So error, oh, I have a misspelled word there. Instead of key combination, I have K combination. As you're certainly aware at this point, you have to pay very close attention to both the spelling of things and capitalization because if those are off, it doesn't work. Okay, our save has, right now our open is a control X. And also when I did my cut and paste, I left them all as the open item. So we'll set that one to save and that one to exit. And now when we look in the menu, you can see we have the different options. I can hit, I'm gonna hit control X and sure enough, it exits our program. So <clears throat> I could have selected the menu option, but hitting the accelerator key also does that option. So this menu, I feel pretty good about. We'll add things for open and save later. The other thing that I want to do is have 
more menus. Okay, so in addition to the file menu, let's go ahead and let's create another menu that has, I don't know, maybe one of our other types here. So we have our normal menu items, the separator we've seen, the check menu item, and the radio menu item. These would be good things to, to put inside of there. So val check menu equals a new menu. We'll give it the title checks. And val check one is a new check menu item. And we give it, need to give it a name. I'm not feeling very inventive right now, so I'll go with check one. It also makes it very easy to duplicate the same thing again. We can add both of those to our check menu. Check menu dot items equals a list of check one and check two. And we can add that onto the things that are inside of our menu bar. Okay, we run it. And sure enough, we have our file with the accelerators and we have the checks. Note that when I select something, it gets a little checkbox by it. If I select it again, it goes away. Okay, so these are a little bit different from normal menu items because they have a state and they remember what they have for options. So that'll conclude this video. We'll come back and continue looking at other options for our menus in the next video.